Hey everybody, Hi. today we're going to tell you about 20 types of sushi that you must try on your trip to Japan. We already made a video about 20 types of sushi that most tourists don't know about, so you can check that video out. But without further ado, let's get into the first type of sushi, which is... Basic tuna, which is the least fatty and most common for supermarket sushi. Yeah, you might know of it as maguro, but the more specific term is akami. I recommend starting off with this, it's just one of the standard, one of the classic sushis to try. But there's many types of tuna to actually try, so that brings us to our second type of sushi, which is... Chutoro. So chutoro actually means medium fatty tuna, right Akina? Exactly. Yeah, I would say that's a pretty good one. I like it better than the akami actually. What do you think though? Actually, chutoro is my favorite tuna sushi. Yeah, it's got that sort of melty fattiness to it, but still has a nice meaty flavor. Yeah, it's not too oily. Sometimes otoro is really fatty or too fatty. Yeah, but nevertheless, we do want to mention the otoro. This is one of many tourist favorites ones to try. Like it is like very fatty, kind of melt in your mouth sort yeah. of flavor. I do love it. You know why it's expensive, yeah, right? Yeah, it is on the expensive side. Next one that's still in the tuna category is the negitoro. Now what is negitoro, Akina? So negitoro is tuna mashed up and you top up with a spring onion. And it's supposed to be cheaper than the other ones because it's supposed to be from the parts which can't really make any shape. Ah, okay. So that's why it's mashed up. It's ground up into yeah. one sort of paste. Yeah, I think it goes really well with the spring onion. I like this one a lot. Me too. Now, the next type of sushi is not a tuna anymore, but this is still nevertheless one of the classics, which is salmon. Now, how do the Japanese pronounce salmon, Akina? We call it salmon. Yep, sounds pretty much the same to me. Now, I think you've probably had salmon before, so I don't need to say much except that it's just very juicy in Japan, very fresh, and yeah, I think you just must try it if you come here. Now that brings us to the next type of sushi, which is aji. How do you feel about aji, Akina? I really like aji, and this one had ginger on top usually, so it's kind of different from other sushis which usually have wasabi in it. So it's kind of nice change of the pace, I would say. It is. The fish itself has a sort of like kind of fishy flavor to it, right? But that ginger paste is very fresh and I like the sushi a lot. So the next type of sushi that we recommend you must try is the ikura. And you've probably seen pictures of this before. It's basically salmon eggs, right Akina? Yes. Yeah, these are really good. It's just like something about the flavor is concentrated. So to me, it tastes like salmon, but just much more concentrated flavor. And you get a sort of burst of flavor when you bite into those eggs. And I like the texture too. Now as for the next type of sushi, this is Tobiko. Now, this is one that I didn't really know about until you introduced it to me, Akina. What is this? So long story short, it's a small fish egg. Yeah, I would say it's similar to the Ikura, but the flavor is much different because this is more about the texture. So the actual flavor is quite um, subtle compared to the ikura. Yeah, you might have seen it in California roll and stuff. Okay, yeah, usually there's small pieces of it. But in this Tobiko, like the actual piece of sushi, there's a lot of it. And you can actually enjoy the taste and I love the texture. Next sushi we have is hotate, which is scallop. Now this is one of the ones that I fell in love with when I came to Japan because the hotate here is just so juicy. like. You bite into it and you just taste this fresh scallop flavor. I definitely love this one. How do you feel about it, Akina? Well, I like it, but I don't love it. <laughs> <laughs> Next on the list is ebi, also known as shrimp. Now you can have this raw or cooked. It's typically cooked and I think it's just really one of the classics. It's really good. You just have that pure, fresh, unadulterated shrimp flavor and I like it a lot. How do you feel about the ebi, Akina? Um, I'm not really a huge fan of shrimps. Yeah, I actually like the shrimp a lot, although there's another shrimp that I like better than this one, which is the Ama Ebi. It's served raw and it has a sweet, sort of silky, kind of almost starchy flavor to it. I love Ama Ebi. How do you like it? You don't like Ebi's at all? Um, I kind of like it, but at the same time, I feel like I'm on the verge of allergic to it, I guess. Okay. So. Well, that's your problem, baby. Me personally, I like that shrimp a lot. 
Next sushi we have is the hamachi. Now this is one of those fish that has various stages of its life. So there's like buri at one stage, hamachi at another, kampachi at another. I get them kind of confused, but this hamachi, how do you feel about it, Akina? I love those things. It's, um, it's nicely fatty and it has a very good texture to it. Yeah, it's just a really solid one. I would say to me it tastes a little bit like aji, but maybe that's just me. It's like um, very sushi, 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 sushi. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sushi sushi. Yeah. So now we're moving on to the next type of sushi, which is onago sushi. How do you feel about onago, Akina? I actually feel really wrong to have sweet sauce on a so sushi. Uh, yeah, this is an eel, like an ocean eel, and it usually comes with a sauce on it, so you don't have to dip it in soy sauce because it already has sauce. It's sweet. I think it's amazing. You don't like it, Akina. No, I feel it's wrong. Wow. <laughs> I thought I knew you. Next type of sushi you've probably heard of before. This is the uni, also known as the sea urchin. And this is one of those sushis that tends to be very expensive, but I think it's worth trying it at least once. What do you think, Akina? Yeah, I totally agree with that. But if you want to have a good uni, then you probably have to find somewhere nice restaurant. Yeah, maybe Otherwise... don't go to like the 100 yen conveyor belt sushi places, right? Because yeah. it'll be pretty bad quality. Yeah, otherwise it might feel um, too fishy or something, yeah. so you might not be able to enjoy it properly. Yeah, it should taste nice and creamy and it should not taste fishy. Okay, next type of sushi we have here is the Ika, which is also known as the squid. This is something I pretty much hated before I came to Japan. I mean, I liked squid, but I didn't like it raw. So um, this actually, you can get some really good ones sometimes in Japan. I'm quite surprised. Yeah, if it's good, then it's not chewy, but um, it's... Very uh, soft. Yeah, very soft, and then it's sweet. Okay, next type of sushi we have is the taco, also known as the octopus. This is another one that I'm not a huge fan of even now, but if you get a good one, it can be quite soft. You like the taco sushi though, right Akina? Yeah, I actually like taco better than Ika. Is because that so? Yeah, because it has more flavor to it. Okay. I think it's a little bit chewier though. Depends on where you get. Okay. Next type of sushi we have is the Thai. This is a kind of sushi that's hard for me to identify the flavor of, but I tend to like it. How do you feel about it, Akina? Yeah, I, I feel exactly the same. Yeah, it's sort of hard to categorize, but um, it has a generic flavor and it's usually quite good, quite juicy and fresh. Yeah, it's also one of the most basic sushi and like sushi sushi. Yep, got it. Next type of sushi is one that I'm a pretty big fan of, but I think a lot of the younger people don't like it, so does that mean I'm getting old? This is the Kanpyo Maki, which is basically the gourd. It's like a dried gourd that's sweet. Um, it's a vegetable. Do you like it, Akina? I like it. But you're not a huge fan of it, right? I've never seen you order it on your own. No. <laughs> it's too cheap. It's too cheap. Oh, oh, man. That's brutal. All right, I'm moving on with my life, going on to the cucumber sushi. This is another one I actually was surprised because this seems like so basic to me. Just living in America, it's one of the ones you can get quite easily that I didn't think that Japanese people would even eat it. Thought it might be like a California roll or something, but actually you can get it here and it's very good. Yep, um, I would say this is a good change of pace in um when you are eating fish all the time, it kind of is uh, refreshing with yeah. the cucumbers, juice, and wasabi taste. And it cleanses the palate. Mm. Now it's time for sushi number 20, which is the tamago. Now the one we got at this shop, it has the rice inside the tamago, but sometimes the tamago is on top of the rice and tied with a piece of nori. But anyway, that's a side topic. Basically, this is just a sweetened piece of egg that's on rice, right? Yeah. Now, you're not the biggest fan of this, are you? Not really. I to actually be I actually like it a lot. Like to me, I think it's a good thing to have at the end. It's almost like a dessert. So similar to that, we have one more sushi, which is a bonus sushi, which is called the Inari sushi. It's another sweet one, and I don't actually know what it is. It's some kind of deep fried tofu, is that right? Yeah, if you know aburage, which could be in miso soup and stuff, like a brown piece of stuff. A brown piece of tofu or something? Yeah, brown piece of tofu. That's uh, aburage, and that it's soaked in sweet syrup. Yeah, it's quite sweet. I actually love this one. Like, this is definitely very desserty, but I love this one a lot, and... Um, I recommend you try it out at the end of your sushi set. 
Anyway, that's it for that 20 sushi, but we actually have 20 more sushi, which we talked about in the previous video. You best be checking it out. We're gonna tell you all about types of sushi that most tourists never even heard of before. We got that link down below in the description box.